Team, welcome back. Serious goss, serious stuff. Oh, I was going to shrink that. Hold on. There we go, Mr. Jew. How does that look? Mr. Jew, rude. Mr. Beast, you know me. Apology rating number one king. Mr. Beast. Over the last few days, I've become aware of a serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behaviour online. I am disgusting and opposed to such unacceptable acts. I struggle um, to even, like, want to believe this shit. Not because I think he's a bad person. I don't know. I don't watch his videos and I don't give a shit about fucking planting a thousand trees in Africa and pretending that it was for a good cause. Okay? What I do think, though, is this is, like, terribly worded. Alright? I've become aware. What? It's fucking everywhere, bro. She's still trending like a fucking snake. Chris. Chris. Well, it's kind of mental, though. Her name's Ava. I, I found out in the last video, I thought her name was actually Chris with a K. I thought it was a, a girl's name. But she's a man. She's a man, God damn it. I mean, she's a woman. Fuck. <laughs> Shut up, she's a pedo. During that time, I've been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. So obviously this is lawyer talk, you know what I mean? It's hard to actually feel anything in apologies because we know they don't write them. You know, they don't. If you actually wanted to make an apology, do a video or something where you, you know, I would like to apologize to my fans for being such a douchebag and messaging minors. At the time, I thought it was okay because she said she didn't mind. I hope you accept it. You know what I mean? At least then you're pretending you're interested. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. <sighs> See, I, I don't get why people put that. Like, just to clarify, I do not consider, uh, condone messaging minors. I think it's bad. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct comprehensive investigation. So basically he's got Scooby-Doo and Waggy on the case to see what's going on. So out of a 10, an apology, we'll give it a 2. It's not an apology, really. It's more of a, um, oh, I've got to say something, so I'm going to say something. I've become aware. Yeah, I bet you fucking have, son. So Ava, Chris Tyson, did do an apology beforehand, or... I don't even know if you can call this an apology. This is an abomination. I mean, you know, we've seen Logan Paul's apology and that was fucking horseshit. I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone. Is this guy smoking? My past behavior or comments. Bro was telling little girls about their nudes and sexual exploitation and shit. Like, inappropriate past behavior. Fucking criminal offense. It's not inappropriate. Inappropriate might be, I don't know, slapping Mr. Beast's bottom when he's not looking and going, <laughs> it was just for fun. If Mr. Beast slapped her ass, then fucking jail. You know what I mean? That's not funny. That is not past behavior. It was not my intent. Not my intent to touch the little child. My hand was just bestowed upon it. I had no choice. Ah. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I step away. So if you notice, Mr. Beast said she was sacked. She was fired gone while well, ava says it's mutually best to d step away you fucking what it's mutually best for you to spend some years in a prison cell ava you know what i mean that's what i would like to see oh no she, a millionaire is not gonna have to sit in her house all alone and drink fine wine and oh god rah. however will she survive she can't do the most embarrassing and cringe moments in all of mr v's videos what? i feel so bad for her you know I know she did wrong, but I'm so sorry. Ava, you have to step away and mutually decided to. You were fired. You were sacked. Like a jacket potato, you were spudded, mate. Um, so step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media. I just don't think the Mr. Beast name's good, I have to admit. I honestly, can I just say, I think what Jimmy's done is great, obviously. Who cares? I'm not a fan, but I'm not like a hater. I just don't, I'm not really into that sort of content. But, you know, 200 million people are, so what the fuck do I know? But... I, I think Mr. Beast's name should have changed when he hit a million subs or something because I don't think he was planning on being this big. Uh, Mr. Beast? Is that me? Yeah. Fucking Mr. Beast. Sounds like a paedophile, you know what I mean? I'm Mr. Beast, baby. Do you like my name? <laughs> Sounds like a porn star. Johnny Sins, a.k.a. Mr. Beast. <laughs> anyway. And, and focus, oh, the last part, this is the funniest, funniest thing. Focus on my family, which she abandoned, right, to swap genders to be part of Mr. Beast and be the centre of the attention. 
and mental health. Why you should be stepping away from Mr. Beast is because you are getting thrown in a cell, you little scumbag. Fuck. Right, I'm not going to go too much into this because I don't understand it, but something that is very concerning is all this Shadman shit. It's almost like Jeffrey Epstein, but of YouTube. I'm not even kidding. This guy makes disgusting, weird hentai anime, like of young girls where they pretend, oh, they are... 25 years old they just have a baby face and they sound like what you know what i mean and you like it's just uh, uh an excuse for freaks now everyone on this is not a bad person that's not what i'm saying at all you can like that art i don't think you know just um you know i wouldn't do it because i think it's kind of gross but just because you wanted a cool you know thumbnail of a, an anime character doesn't mean you're a bad person you know you pay someone to do a task it's simple fucking communism i mean not communism what's the other one capitalism <laughs> but all these people, they've been a bit weird. I don't really recognise him. Belle Delphine, obviously everyone knows what her fanny looks like. Editor of PewDiePie, I know him. Dolan, I've read of him. And then the rest are just, who the fuck cares? But it's just interesting, you know, because I don't really like Keemstar, but it's just the tip of the iceberg, these paedophiles. They're fucking everywhere. Fucking everywhere, son. I just want to um, find one more thing, sorry. Where the fuck's she gone, mate? I'm an intellectual. Ah, here. Nathan. Now, I didn't want to show this, but this is a friend of, ex-friend of Ava's. I need to clarify. Ava, or Lava, Lava, fucking hell, the name, why are they so similar? Fucking, did they not know they were going to get in controversy and people were missing up? This guy basically was friends with Lava. Lava tried getting him into Mr. Beast, tried doing some dodgy shit, and then tried getting to sign an NDA. That's why Lava can't come out and say anything, because she signed an NDA. So she's been given more money, say, so just say nothing. That's my theory. And I'm not saying it was Mr. Beast, not at all. I think Mr. Beast is not Mr. Beast, you know what I mean? Same when you got the fucking US government. It's not Joe Biden, you fucking slut. Tyson from Mr. Beast used me, manipulated me, and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. I was actually friends with Lava GS at the time, who is the main victim of Chris that everyone has been talking about these last few days, who claims he isn't a victim, but we all know he is, and we all know he probably got paid off. Not only that, but he's also he said it. Also under an NDA from when he worked for Mr. Beast Gaming for two years, and he tried to get me to join Mr. Beast Gaming himself, Lava. He's the one who actually sent me the contract and tried to get me to sign the NDA, at which point I ended our friendship because I knew they were just trying to silence me. Me and him were both initially involved in running Chris's Discord server, helping him uh, set up his Twitch streams and moderating them. So you know, they were friends, good friends, I would say work colleagues, if not further, and they did stuff together. As well as other technical back-end things that he needed help with. This Discord server that we were a part of had about 10 people in it, most of whom were minors. I'm not sure how they got in there, other than me and Lava. He won a giveaway and Chris invited him after that, and Chris invited me after I saw one of his tweets asking for help setting up a Gary's Mod server for the 10 million subscriber Mr. Beast video. This turned into us having lots of- 10 million. I think he's at like 300 or 200. Like this was year, ages ago, you know what I mean? Why, why is it only coming all out now? It, this is the shit that annoys me about people. They only do things when it benefits themselves. This guy, he might be famous, I don't know, but why is he coming out now? Add fuel to the fire, bruh. And my point is, I'm glad he is, but he should have done this fucking 10 years ago when he was at 10 mil or whatever, however long, five years, you know what I mean? Like, coming out now is like, fucking hell. I was with Chris and playing video games with him for hours on end. Not only did we do a lot of unpaid work for him that he promised he would pay us for, he would also frequently bring up sexual topics that was definitely not appropriate to bring up around 15, 16 year olds, especially with him being like, I don't know, 20, 21 years old. He would even go as far as See, this is the weirdest part. I'm 22, bro. I think this is like the weird... I can't wrap my head around why people would do this shit. ...is linking these several different corn and hentai videos throughout the time of me talking... Shadman. ...with him. Not only that, but he had an NSFW bot in his Discord server before he made it public. So when it was just a private server, uh, his little circle of miners. And he would use this NSFW bot to spam different corn images porn images so obviously he means porn there and he's just saying that just to make the point clear but i i think this this goes deeper than the problem of this guy is a fucking weirdo this is now two or three or four people i've seen on the internet coming out saying they've had weird experiences with mr beast mr beast team chris ava whatever she's fucking called lava they all sign nda so they can't speak out freely this guy obviously didn't sign one as he mentioned so he can come out and make this video and not get sued i mean imagine if someone came out and then got sued i think you'd probably i think you'd have all the information you needed didn't you we'll end on this i hate sneaker he's fucking 
Anthony, congratulations on buying Smosh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, bitches. Right. Oh, I've turned purple. That's cool. Whoa. Yeah, basically, dudes, this goes deeper and it's getting even worse. I, you know, wasn't actually going to make a second video and then I thought, fucking hell, there's about, you know, there's double the information I had in the first one. So here you go, boys.